Welcome to the second part of this series on building a social network with Go. In this video, we will code a middleware to handle user authentication. But, first, let me fix something with Branka and actually use the token lifespan with the codec. Alright. Done. I'm just going to commit that. Now, let's code an HTTP middleware that extracts the token from the request headers, and decodes it to get the user ID. As always, the token will come in the authorization header with the bearer schema. If no token is present, it just passes through. Now, let me add the function to decode the token. That's it. Now, I just need to add the decoded user ID to the context. Looks good. Now I can wrap the API router with it. To see that everything works fine. I'll add an endpoint to get info about the current authenticated user. This function does a database query with the user ID in the context. For this function to work you need to put that middleware before. Now, let's just code the corresponding HTTP handler. Done. Now, let's try to build it to test the API.
First, save the token you get after logging in. And you pass it in the headers. Nice. I am just going to give a name to this request so I can reference the return token. And that will give us a login mechanism to work during the rest of this series. See you in the next.